In December 2003, a case of bovine spongiform encephalopathy, or BSE, was discovered in the United States. Virtually overnight, America's number one customer, Japan, essentially closed its doors to U.S. beef. In January 2013, 10 years later, Japan finally reopened its doors for U.S. beef aged 30 months or younger. The increase to 30-month beef was welcome news to Nebraska corn and beef producers. Through their corn checkoff, Nebraska corn farmers helped support the efforts of the U.S. Meat Export Federation to promote U.S. red meat around the world. USMEF has been instrumental in accelerating consumer acceptance and awareness of U.S. beef in Japan since the reopening of the market. A Nebraska Beef Team mission, funded by the Nebraska Corn Board, visited Japan in July 2013. The team included representatives of the Nebraska Corn Board, Nebraska Corn Growers Association, and Nebraska Cattlemen. The purpose of the mission was to see what USMEF was doing to help the U.S. regain market share for beef and ensure that Japanese customers had the information, resources, and assistance they needed to get U.S. beef back on Japanese plates. This is important not only to Nebraska beef producers, but to corn farmers as well, since every pound of beef exported represents about 2.6 pounds of corn used to feed that animal. In the 10 years since the incidence of BSE in the United States, there has not been an adequate and reliable beef supply from the U.S. to Japan. Consequently, the Japanese consumer has forgotten the delicious difference of U.S. corn-fed beef. Food self-sufficiency is a huge concern in Japan, and several recent food threats, including the nuclear disaster, have done nothing to quell those fears. Japan is the number one customer for U.S. corn, pork, feeds, frozen vegetables, and fresh citrus, and they are well on their way to regaining their position as the number one customer for U.S. beef. But now U.S. beef is back, so we, I think Japanese consumers are looking for the U.S. beef and the beef market is growing. So in Japan, there is more and more opportunity to sell U.S. beef. USMEF has implemented a comprehensive effort to educate consumers, meat buyers, packers, and processors about the increased availability of high-quality U.S. corn-fed beef. With the new 30-month rule, they are promoting that the best of the best of U.S. beef and more of it is now available to Japanese consumers. This is the theme of a major ad campaign, including a presence in Tokyo Station, which serves 400,000 commuters per day. USMEF sponsored a luncheon featuring Rika Yukamasa, a popular Japanese food television star who prepared U.S. beef and pork. In the audience, some 40 Japanese food bloggers who collectively reach about 200,000 readers per day. The bloggers were enthusiastic about meeting Rika, and the opportunity to meet face-to-face -face with American farmers and ranchers. Japanese people don't know about this. Even if it's, it says beef and pork, same, same word, it's a completely different style of meat. So we need to teach Japanese people how to enjoy it. In addition to consumers, USMEF is also reaching out to importers and buyers of U.S. beef. During the mission, the Nebraska team participated in a breakfast with major beef packers who expressed excitement that U.S. beef is back in Japan. A purveyor information session, which attracted some 50 meat buyers who sell to restaurants and hotels. And a seminar for nearly 650 meat buyers, outlining the benefits of U.S. beef and pork and the aggressive consumer promotion campaigns designed to drive demand. Following the seminar, customers had a chance to sample a wide range of dishes featuring U.S. beef and pork. USMEF chair-elect Mark Jagels of Davenport, Nebraska addressed the group. My family is proud to be part of the broad network that makes up the U.S. Meat Export Federation. USMEF has members that reach all the way from the farms and the ranches of America to the processors, shippers, and exporters who bring our beef and pork to you. We represent many families stretched across thousands of miles of our country but we share a mission of providing you with the best products possible. The mission team also visited a number of retail stores, including Seiyu, Walmart's brand in Japan. The beef buyer for all 372 Seiyu stores is optimistic about increased sales for U.S. beef, calling it a price-competitive, 
high quality option. So one of the importer processors, Marudai, is the one that kind of prepares all this. And then we work with them to make sure that they got the U.S. seal and the We Care message on it. High-end Tokyo stores began selling U.S. beef in February 2013 and have seen steady sales increases every month since. Their sister store, Preche, caters to an even higher-end customer. And they, too, are excited about the prospects of offering their customers the delicious taste and tenderness of U.S. corn-fed beef. Companies that import U.S. beef are also optimistic about the future. Representatives of beef importer Sumakan Busan said U.S. corn-fed beef will gain market share rapidly because, as they say, the proof is in the taste. Ito Ham, one of the largest importers of U.S. beef, also expects to bring in more U.S. corn-fed beef to their customers. These Japanese buyers and retailers are sharp, and they know what they want. But just as there has been almost a generation of Japanese consumers who have not been exposed to the value and benefits of American corn-fed beef, there is almost a generation of buyers as well. USMEF is telling that story. The port at Yokohama on Tokyo Bay is where large shipments of U.S. beef enter Japan. It takes about two to three days for American beef to move from the Midwest to the West Coast ports and about two weeks to travel on ship before arriving in Yokohama. Japan's largest cold storage facility is owned by Nippon Ham, the nation's largest importer of beef. The team saw beef from around the world including supplies from Nebraska locations, such as Dakota City and Lexington, as well as the Nebraska beef brand, owned by Nippon Ham and located in Omaha. Japan readily takes cuts of beef that do not sell well in the U.S. Tongue, intestines, and other variety meat cuts are desired in Japan, and that adds considerable value to a U.S. beef carcass. For example, beef tongue, which brings about $1.50 per pound in the U.S., will garner $7 in Japan. A key competitor for U.S. beef is Wagyu beef, a highly marbled Japanese beef. Wagyu cattle are fed for two years before going to market, hand-fed on rations that include rice straw. This highly marbled beef is highly valued in Japan. In one super high-end store, it was going for upwards of $180 per pound. At the Sendai Meat Market, the Nebraska team watched the morning's auction of beef carcasses, during which one 950-pound Wagyu carcass went for $12,000. A highlight of the mission was a visit to Katsura Island, which was hit by the March 2011 tsunami. After the disaster, the young people on the island left, and only elderly residents remain, depending on oyster and seaweed farming as a livelihood. The Nebraska Corn Board and Nebraska Beef Council were among the first commodity groups in the U.S. to provide relief to the tsunami-stricken region, providing beef in cooperation with USMEF. Bond and Justice, a group of hip-hop culture youth from across Japan, have adopted Katsur Island, gathering there about twice per month to prepare meals and provide social contact for the remaining residents of the island. Well, when we actually brought in the barbecue, they said that it was the first meal after two months they felt like they're relieved from actually eating and not just put it, not just to fill your stomach. It was actually a meal to have a joy with, you know, everybody laughing with each other. It was the first meal that they had it. So they really appreciate the you know support you guys gave it to us. Thank you, you know, on behalf of our people. Ne? <laughs> The fact that American producers were here enjoying a meal with them face to face was greatly appreciated by the locals. The work that the U.S. Meat Export Federation is doing is paying off. Japan is on track to regain its position as the number one importer of U.S. corn-fed beef. In fact, imports are expected to exceed $1 billion in value in 2013, up from practically zero in 2006. The Japan efforts are just one example of USMEF's impact on building markets for U.S. corn-fed beef around the globe. And through their corn checkoff support of USMEF, Nebraska corn producers are helping make sure that Nebraska corn-fed beef is on the menu around the globe. Thank you for spending this time with us. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs>